the earth opens its jaws. In 2016, a series of earthquakes shakes central Italy. Whole villages lie in ruins, devastated by a quake that hit without warning. Even the most modern technology cannot predict exactly when and where the forces of nature will strike. Scientists from the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behaviour in Constance are at the scene of the disaster. Together with international cooperation partners, they want to test an alternative early warning system for earthquakes, with the help of animals on local farms. The initial idea was that people around the world were telling these stories about animals anticipating major disasters. Um, it's difficult because until now people could not monitor these animals 24-7, so continuously. And now with the technology we have, it's, it's super easy. You just put a tag on the animal and you could do it in many, many places around the world. Today, volcanic regions that are home to many people are monitored extensively. For earthquakes, however, many control systems react to primary pressure waves, leaving only a few seconds warning before a quake hits. Enough time to shut down technical installations like electricity and gas lines, or to stop trains and block bridges, but possibly not enough time to warn people of what's to come. The approach of the behavioural biologists has its roots in tales told across cultures. People witness animals changing their behaviour, leaving shelters, becoming restless long before the earth shakes, a tsunami ravages the coast, or a volcano spits fire. Animals have evolved for millions of years. Their senses are tuned to the environment. They have better hardware. Their noses are better, their ears are better, their electric organs are better. And they also have better sensory systems to deal with this information. So the, the brains of animals are superior to any of the computers that we have. If we then take all the animals together, or many of those animals together, then we have a network of intelligence distributed sensors that are evolved to sense the environment. A new study is providing evidence to support what was once known only from chance observations. Prior to earthquakes, animals do show measurable behavioral changes. Depending on the distance to the epicenter, animals can start showing signs up to 20 hours before the earth begins to shake. Twelve major quakes and countless smaller ones occurred in just six months, providing a one-of-a-kind systematic evaluation of animal reactions to earthquakes. What these tags are measuring is basically every movement in any direction. So if the animals here are becoming more active or more nervous before an earthquake, and this is something that these tags can detect. The heart of the study is the concept of collectives. Forecasting does not come from a single animal. For the researchers, the decisive patterns only emerge from observing the group behaviour of animals. Data scientists from the University of Constance provide statistical models and algorithms originally developed for financial econometrics. These prediction models are now also being used in another long-term project with free-ranging goats and sheep on the Etna volcano. Since December 2019, a follow-up study has been running. Data on animal activity is evaluated in real time. If there is a significant increase in animal activity for at least 45 minutes, the system activates the alarm. So far, the system has proven itself once. And indeed, three hours later, a small quake shook the region. Now we are trying to establish a real-time or near real-time system that allows us to really predict what's happening. That we really see immediately what, what are these animals doing and then say, well, guys, we think something's going to happen here. If the potential of animals as a natural early warning system is confirmed, the next step will be to use the Animal Observation System Icarus which has just been put into operation at the International Space Station to look around the globe to see which other animals can warn of earthquakes, tsunamis and other natural disasters with their behaviour. This network of animals, the Internet of Animals, 
could reveal much more about the condition of our environment, the interplay of life, and how we can better share our one little planet. <laughs>